What is going on, Froes? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're finally going to pick up a fish that I have had on order waiting to get finished quarantining for so long now. If you've watched long enough, you might know exactly what I'm talking about. But I ordered this fish a long, long time ago, paid for it, everything's done, just waiting for the quarantine process to be done. And like I said, been weeks. So today we're going to get that for this tank. Along with that, we'll probably end up getting some more things. You know we can't just go to the fish store and only get one thing, it's impossible. The 300 gallon Red Sea Aquarium. This thing's absolutely baller. I mean, it's one of my favorite things I've ever gotten on this channel. As you can see, we take pride in it as well. We've been growing corals like crazy now. The corals have just been getting so, so big. Some of these zoas are massive. Some different leathers floating throughout the tank as well. Look how big that one's getting. I can get a better angle. Oh, it's so hard to get angles on this. There it is. Look how big that is. That's like 10 times the size. And some of the colors are so bright the camera can't even pick up that lime green. Lots of zoas growing down here. These are all the ones we got at Tommy's place last time. And as you can see, they've doubled in size. All of them. I like to just give you guys a close shot on everything because it's so hard to show it all on camera. You can see the zebra eels back there. Besides the grafted monopora, it's growing back. But when I was away in the Bahamas, filming the video, uh, this one that you're watching right now, filming that, the lights stayed on. The power went out in my house, it flicked back on, and the lights never adjusted correctly. Just little things like that can make impacts on saltwater tanks. It's tough to deal with these things, um, but everything is great. Recovering, beautiful. But if you look real closely, see that? Look real closely. See the little green heads popping back up? Yeah, she's growing back. She's growing back. Corals are the most craziest creatures in the world. They are living things, and sometimes I feel like people forget that. Every single one of these is alive. Anyway, the 300 gallon saltwater tank is about to get a new member. I think since we're on the saltwater topic though, let's head outside. And go look at the saltwater pond. My buddy Foddy's here, and we just took down this pine tree. Yeah, another day in the office, huh? No air conditioning, though. <laughs> this pine tree was just causing a mess in the yard. These things are ruthless. You get these pine needles all over the yard, and they stick in my screen. So I had Foddy come out, take care of business over here. Still got plenty of shade in the backyard. This was just, uh, these are like porcupines that fall from the sky. <laughs> I saved two of the stumps right here for the goats because we're going to be doing, <laughs> it's hard to film out here, but we're going to be doing a goat uh, enclosure remodel very soon, making a two-story goat house, so that's going to be cool. And I saved those stumps for that. Body! What's up? Hey, man. Uh... It's going to be so much nicer without that. Anyway, into the fish building we go. Boo! The lights! And there she is, the beautiful 4,000-gallon aquarium. If you guys haven't checked out last video, make sure to go check that out. We went over the total cost of building this exact pond at my house down to the scent. So if you didn't see it, it's a great video. This pond is soon to be ready for fish. We have to do the whole like snail and invertebrate thing, but about two to three weeks, we'll start getting our first small fish just to kind of get it kicking. And eventually we're gonna get them big old predatory fish, sharks, eels, and stuff like that. I've been reading through the comments. I know a lot of you have been commenting what we should get for the saltwater pond. Don't worry, I see them, and I'm gonna take them into account when it comes that time. Wow, Leo, our Ambilobi panther chameleon is lit up right now. Every day you look different, bud. Either bigger, more beautiful, ugly, grayer, nastier, but today you are just, wow, look at, can I get a dang shot of you, you're so shy. Wow, buddy, you are beautiful today, every day. My goodness, maybe it's because you're eating good, boy. Can you believe that thing is less than a year old? He grew like crazy, just six months ago he looked like this. I don't even think that was six months, that was in February. How long ago was that? Check this out, I also got this. I got a tub now and I drilled a bunch of holes in it. And inside this tub, cracker open, Crick dog! I got a bunch of crickets. Oh, oh, that dude just made an escape mission. You know what, I'm gonna let you go. That was well deserved. He jumped onto my hand and then sent it out of the bin. Enjoy your life in the fish building. You might get eaten by something else. Anyway, lots of crickets. Look at all these things. So many crickets. So now I can house crickets. I feed them like carrots and stuff. They have these little gel balls that have water in them. But yeah, they don't live too long anyway. 
Cricket's lifespan ain't that long. But I like having bulk cricket supply. That way I can just feed Leo the unlimited amount of crickets. Look at all of our fish. The water is low right now. Put silicone on here so that fish stop ramming their face into it. Arrowine! Arrowine! Fish are looking good over there in the 5500 gallon. Flipper, the Fly River Turtle, is growing, getting much, much bigger. Right, Flipper? And it's two best friends that live with him. The gar, Florida spotted gar, and a bicher. Anyway, we're back inside at the 300 gallon tank. And let me tell you, I think it's time we go get a fish for this thing. Let's hit the road and uh, do just that. I'm not too sure what that just was. That was like a, I'm not sure whether it was like an attempt to, I don't know. We're here at Tommy's shop. You can see Tommy through the window right there. He's talking to a customer, so we'll probably leave him alone for a little bit, but. Hey, Paul. So, Tommy, on, that boy's got some fish right now. So pretty. Some seahorses. Should we get those? Oh, they're hugging each other. That's actually awesome. There's the fish we're getting more on him in just a second, but there's so many different fish. Look at that guy. All these are in quarantine. We just got this guy for my tank, an Achilles Tang. He's hiding. Look at the size of this wrasse. Wow. That's a thick mama. That is awesome. Blue jawed trigger. And he is spectacular. There he comes. Coming right to the camera. I've been waiting on this guy for weeks. Been saying we're gonna get him. And today is officially the day where Tommy is gonna finally net up and bag our trigger fish. It's a blue jawed trigger. They're such cool fish. Look at these little puffers. We got one of these in our tank too. Inside this tank right here, in the very far, far back. She's hiding back there. She's, she's hiding, but she's literally a small version of the one over here. The small version, a little less color as well. This is the male, of course. Um, someone came and got the male of her partner and just left her. Poor thing. Oh, I, like, I kind of feel like I have to. I have to take her. So we're gonna do two of the blue jaw triggers. The females are a lot smaller. I told you that we weren't gonna leave here with just one. We're getting two. We're getting two. I'm, I feel like I'm almost obligated to get the female. Imagine just getting left behind. She's sitting behind a sponge filter all scared. Gotta get her. Check out the size of this Achilles Tang. Wow. This one might be camera shot, but he can't even go anywhere and hide because he's so big. That is crazy to see. Like, he's the size of my hand. Can you believe one day all the fish in our aquarium are gonna be that big? Well, and if they grow that big. The Achilles Tang will, these triggers will grow a little bit. Here's the corals that came out of the quarantine tank at my house. They're at Tommy's shop right now in his coral quarantine. We're just checking them out, making sure everything on them is good, and then these will eventually go back into my tank. So Tommy said our male trigger fish, this trigger will have better colors with the female in the tank. So even better, we get two fish, and it's gonna enhance the colors of our male because it's obviously gonna try to impress her. My guy's trying to riz it up, you know what I'm saying? I almost caught her slow. Oh, there she is. Ah, she's so shy. Alrighty, Tommy. Here we go. Officially time to get rid of uh, your blue jaw trigger. You sad to let him go? I'm happy he's going to a good tank. There we go. A tank that you actually maintain as well. <laughs> You're so going to see him all the time. Yeah, every couple weeks. No net needed, Tommy. Now he bit the bag. Oh, he bit the bag, yeah. Oh my God. This thing can get up to a foot long. So right now it's a baby. It'll grow in our saltwater tank along with the female and eventually can go into our saltwater pond that I showed you earlier. Which is great that we have the saltwater pond because now everything that grows too big in the tank, just like the Achilles tank that you saw a big one of, all that stuff could go inside the pond. We're not gonna get any fish that would be able to eat stuff that I have plans to put in eventually. Male is all bagged up. Nice bagging too, great. Look at that structure there. That's Tommy's work right there. Oh, thank you, Paul. And now female, right? Yep. Oh, we got them. Female and male. Just like that. Boom, baby. Male, female, male, female, male. Y'all know the next step. The next step is to acclimate. They're gonna be so beautiful in this light. The tank is just gonna, it's gonna have some big old fish at the surface now, two of them. Ah. We're gonna start off with the little old female. She's a little dark, she's a little dark. We're gonna get a video of her in my hand here in a second. Triple bag, this baby mama. And they're so adorable. Nice and small. She's all dark, the male's gonna have a lot more color, although she will get colored up eventually as well. Let's put her in. 
Bye, girl. Woohoo! The first ever triggerfish I've ever owned right there. I've never had a triggerfish in my entire life, let alone two of them. Today we got two of them. Let's get the mail out. Triple bag this thing too. Oh, buddy. I love how they back up like the fish. Wow. Wow. Look at the colors. Look at those colors. Take a look at the colors of that fish right there. That's crazy beautiful. The blue jaw trigger is about to go in. I don't like using nets because it gets stuck on these trigger fish. They have this hard trigger. They have this really, really hard trigger that they won't let you pull down. They will not let you pull that trigger down. That's just a little defense mechanism. Oh, he took off. There he is. Ah! Look at that guy. He's chilling back there. That's our male. Where's the female at? Honey, where are you? They haven't even seen each other yet. Wait till they see each other. They're gonna be like, love at first sight. She's hiding in the back just like she did in the quarantine tank. And that right there, Caferos, is two new blue jawed triggers. We're gonna pick up the camera in a couple hours when they get comfortable and maybe they meet each other. <laughs> oh, look at them together already. It's literally been like five minutes. They found each other. The male looks sick. Now I have blue lights on. We'll definitely get some different lighting here in this video. The Achilles tang is definitely gonna be an aggressive fish in this tank. You can already see him trying to assert his dominance back there with them. They will take care of it themselves. And if we see anything that's serious enough, we'll take care of it ourselves. <laughs> It is two days later, and as you can see, some algae has now grown on the glass. I didn't want to mess with these trigger fish at all, so I've just kind of left the tank as is. As you can see, the trigger right there, the male, is doing fantastic. Oh, she just swam into the back. She's very camera shy, but if we're just hanging out here, she'll come out. There's the male. Female, there she is, yep. And the female just arises from the back. Nice and chunky, because I feed this thing like 10 cubes per day. And along with the trigger fish, we have some visitors that look just like trigger fish. Take a look. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's so wrong. <laughs> you can't do that. That's so wrong. I wasn't expecting you that. Not. <laughs> Especially this guy. He looks like a trigger fish. <laughs> Brenton is here and he just saw the saltwater pond for the very first time. As you know, him and I pretty much did the whole entire thing from the very beginning. So, this was his reaction. There's no way. It it's worked. real. It worked. It worked. It wasn't supposed to. I know. But it worked. It's so clear too. Oh, it's so clear. I mean, it's still a little back, no problem. It looks so good. The cave looks so good. The sand looks so good. It's a pond. Oh my gosh. There's not water everywhere. I know. That is crazy. Yeah. Caferos, we have so many crazy, crazy projects going on right now. Like we're in the mix of making like six banger videos for you all at one time. Scrub you off, you're getting a little humid here. So make sure, if you haven't yet already, I, I, I try to say it as often as I can, subscribe down below. There's a subscribe button down there. Click that button and then right after that, click the bell and you'll be notified every single time I upload. And I say that because when these videos go live, I want you guys to see them. I've got some really, really cool things in the works and I can't wait to share them with you, including this right here. You've seen me build this. We've already built the shelves. Of course, I'm making like dedicated videos for this. You'll see this, but like the shelves just look so good. I saw a lot of your comments that said this wire was a little too big and rats are gonna get through it, mice are gonna get through it. So, went out and I got five rolls, actually four, six rolls of a lot smaller gauge and um, Hector's also putting that in right now. So, the outside's not done yet but the inside pass here as you can see it's got the other fence and this fence there ain't no way there's no way if any of you comment and say a rat can get through that we're gonna fight and no, i'm just kidding <laughs> y'all watching literally help me more than you know commenting give me suggestions information that i'm learning as we go a rat i didn't think was gonna get through this apparently i was wrong um but i fixed the mistake simple as that got it all right here so eventually all these right here will cover on top of all this this was 10 times bigger of a project than I thought it was going to be, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I thought it was gonna be a lot easier. We've dumped a lot more money and a lot more time than I ever thought we would, but it's being done the like top tier, like the nicest way we could possibly do it, especially for the animals, the turtles and tortoises. The better we could do it, the better for them. The better for you once you purchase. What are you oinking about, Twisty? Uh, 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 uh. They're all oinking. There's no longer a tree right there. <laughs> 
That's nice. PC Aquatics is coming soon. That's the biggest news. I can't wait. It is the whole reason why we even have those bins being put in, in the first place. The saltwater pond is dang near ready to get fish. There's a lot going on and I'm so happy to have you guys alongside with me for the entire journey. Thank you all so much for watching. What can I say other than we have some bangers lined up for you to enjoy watching. I'm just cooking them all up in the studio right now. Brenton and I will see you right back here in the very next video. The Where? Next, the next video. What are we doing? Oh, um, we got a hold of that company to take us in the rocket to space. Yes, we're visiting the moon. We'll see you there. Peace out. Peace. Shout out to some more fresh new members. Anyone joining the PC members group gets their name on either the pond here or the flower horn tank. As you can see, lots of names on here as well. So if any of you guys are members, you should see your name here. If you don't, you know, comment down below in one of my member videos and I'll get the notification and be sure to add your name. There's a lot of you. Thank you so much members for the extra support. If you guys want to join, get your name on a wall and get exclusive videos, links in the description.